despite the loss I'm over here, gotta get across Whether you like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for us And now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done, take my Right, hello and welcome back. This is a vlog. Take my hand, just follow me, shadow me, I won. Oh, oh, the sky is on fire. The lake has turned to a golden sun. Hello and welcome back. This is a vlog. Now, now, I haven't done one of these in a while. It's great to get back out. Nice, uh, haven't missed the weight on my back, mind. But it is nice to get out, wandering around, talking crap to the camera. Like, I do so well. Well, I hope I do well. Yeah, so this is a vlog. We're at uh, Durant Water. Obviously now I've moved up to Cumbria. This isn't too far away. Um, not the best of days, but it's more of a obviously a vlog to get out, back out of the camera, get rid of the cobwebs, and a bit of a scouting mission. But more on that in the next few weeks. I'll try and keep you updated when I remember. <laughs> So this bit may be a little bit different. I've moved on to my new camera, which I've been using as much as possible. Um, if you follow me on kind of YouTube and things, which I hope you do, if you don't, make sure you do. Ah, there's a tree in the way. Uh, I might just get, I might just kind of go around this a little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so shooting a couple of short films with it, so I kind of know what I'm doing with it now. But this is a Sony A7 III, upgraded obviously because I wanted to move into video. Um, hopefully you can see the quality and the kind of the shots I'm getting uh, compared to my Osmo Pocket. I still love my Osmo Pocket. It's a bit windy, but just in terms of depth of field, uh, just overall quality of it. The problem is at the moment it's still on a normal tripod so I'm sorry if you're a little bit shaky but hopefully this should still focus on my face. I don't know how I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see from the screen. Um, as I say it should be better quality. The next thing is a gimbal so it's nice and yeah, that's shaky. But yeah, um, the short film bit. Started doing that just to. Jesus, a bit slippy. Started doing that just because I was obviously a little bit bored. Realised, absolutely love doing it. So, like I said in my one year on YouTube video, expect to see stuff like that. Expect to see some, maybe some other stuff. As well as the vlogs, stuff like this. But like, if you haven't checked out my short films, please do. I'm, I'm quite proud of them. I'm quite quite happy the way they turned out, and hopefully we'll just get better and better. And they are short. I'm talking a couple of minutes long. Right. Seeing as this is a photography vlog. Apparently, we better do some photography, man. We, I'm at a basically spot where I want to be. Of quite obviously, that makes sense. Um, there's a couple of shots I want from here. There's a few kind of branches and things which have kind of obviously fallen down in the wind, which are like half and half in the water. So I'm thinking, nice little bit of minimalism. The light's not great to be honest, but it's quite 
dung overcast so good light for a bit of black and white so always quite fancy a bit of minimalism I always, always quite like it you know calms the mind and, and all that kind of a whole point of being out really so we should probably get on with it shouldn't we that's if the rain stops <laughs> So, first shot is in the bag, done, sorted. Um, actually my first proper landscape shot with, with that camera. Um, I'll tell you what, it's easier. It's a lot easier. Um, just being a little bit more intuitive, as much as I love the Nikon, um, the Sony just, it just, it just seems to work a bit better in your hand. Anyway, the shot is one I've actually wanted for a while. Um, I've got like a whole list of stuff saved on, on Google Maps and this is one I wanted. Um, basically we've got a small island, obviously in Durham Water. I think I mentioned Durham Water? I might, have, might not have. Yeah, basically a small island in the back and then there's a tree which actually comes kind of over it, which frames it. And I've used obviously the rocks in the foreground as like a leading line up to it. Um, F7.1 because I don't want everything in complete focus. I want the background a little bit out of uh, just a touch of blur on it. Basically, focusing on the tree at the front rather than the actual island in the backwards. In the backwards? In the background. Jeez, you can tell I haven't done this in a while. I haven't got a clue what I'm on about. If you're still watching, well done because this is probably not going to make much sense. Um, this it's kind of similar, kind of in a weird way. Um, basically, like I said before, there's a load of branches which are falling down, and um, this one's right on the edge of a shore. Um, it kind of curls around. It's almost like a like a spider kind of spider's legs kind of coming in. I've I've framed it, so there's least kind of distractions in the background. So as it comes up. The island and the side of the lake, kind of either side of it, nothing should really cut each other. If it does, I'll, I'll kind of I'll get rid of those a little bit in um, in post. But again, I've gone for a 30 second shutter, just to smooth the water, get rid of any other distractions, um, and I've also gone for f 5.6 again, just focusing just on these branches. So yeah, I'm on. That's, that's another one done. And yeah, I've just uh, stopped having a couple of snacks, packet of crisps, a drink, etc, etc. Just kind of contemplating. That's it's the first time I've been out for quite some time. Obviously, bro, same boat as everybody, really. To be honest, I'd, I'd, I'd struggle with it a little bit. Um, I'd never admit it. But yeah, I, I I did struggle a little bit with kind of staying in and not really doing. Staying in a bit doesn't bother me. I keep myself busy. As if you've kind of watched in my short films and stuff like that, I've really enjoyed it, and it's kind of forced me to to go into that area. And I've realised that's the kind of area I really want to go into. I um, really enjoyed doing them, putting them together, and, and that thought process I really quite, quite missed. But doing this, coming out, this is, it's, it's, it's very different. This is, this is very calming. It's complete stress relief. It's almost like a reset button. 
and I really, really miss this. And the other thing is obviously I, I play sport, play volleyball and basketball uh, two, three times a week. And that was, again, that's my other kind of de-stress. Especially volleyball, we just want to hit a ball. Just hit the ball. And anyway. But yeah, just, this is just rambling now, but I just want to kind of hope that everybody's all right, everybody's good. There is an end to this. It is coming soon, but again, everyone needs to stay safe. If it's a few more weeks, a few more months of just going out when you can, then fair enough. But just stay safe. Stay alert. God, that's awful, isn't it? Stay alert. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment meant for us. And now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me, I won. Oh, oh, the sky is on fire. So, next shot is a massive cliche. Um, basically, looking straight down. Pier, long exposure, kind of the you know, you know, thing kind of everybody does it. You gotta get out of here, <laughs> you gotta get it while you're here. Um, I'm on 30 seconds at the moment, F F11. And what I'm actually going to do, I've taken a shot with a 10 stop and a polarizer. I'm going to change with 10 stop for a six stop, and then I'm going to run down the end. And get a selfie basically make it a little bit different just kind of mix it up just ever ever so slightly that means i've got to stand still for like five seconds ten seconds without moving at all trying to fall in as well so we'll see how that goes all right so i think i worked just kind of walk back down it's ever taken a long exposure i've just got i've literally just taken a a quick one, so it's, it's I know it's sharp. Um, let's just have a look. Mm, I'm probably not the best model, to be honest. But it's sharp. That kind of matters. Right, tell you what, I'm going to do that again. You guys can come with me if you want. Right. Ready? Ooh, ready to run. Right, let's go. Right, that should be better. So, go get good feet. So you can see your feet. <laughs> I'm just talking rubbish now, completely. Right, let's have a look. Is that any better? It's a bit um, overexposed in the sky, but I guess that, that doesn't really matter. That's better. That's quite nice, that's all right. Yeah, let me turn this around and show you. Right, so that, as they say, is a wrap. I'm really sorry if this video is shaky, this, this bit here. I'm, uh, I say, I'm literally hand holding a full tripod and the camera and the mic. It's quite heavy. Obviously, I haven't been doing much sport or anything, so I've, yeah, quite probably struggling with it. But anyway, I'm waffling again. I need to stop doing that. It's good to get out. Good to get a couple of images. Good to test out the new camera. Uh, I'm not going to do a review of it or anything. It's it's an SM3. It's it's been out for a while. People who shoot Sony is obviously going to be used to what it is. But I'll tell you what, big difference compared to my Nikon. Definitely happy I made the change. Um, thought batteries may be a bit of an issue, but I haven't changed it yet. I've got two spares. I'm still on the first one. 
and I've been obviously doing all this to the camera and stuff like that. So it's been uh, been really good. So no Sony jokes about the batteries, please. Well, you, you can do, but I'm not going to listen. <laughs>